Wednesday, June 1st. We're in a new month. Happy June 1st, you guys. I just dropped off Baby Girl. It's 8.48. Um, <clears throat> I went into her <clears throat> daycare today to just get some final looks at everything because this is the month of June. So all of the renovations are completed. We're just putting the finishing touches on things um, before we have like the grand opening again or grand reopening. So that one of the last things that needs to be done is the chalkboard wall needs to be painted. So um, we are going to plan to do that sometime this week. Um, and then I can take some photos to be included in the June newsletter. Hopefully that'll go out by Friday or Monday. Right now I'm headed to Dollar Tree because I want to get some of the individual small like serving containers for food not containers but like the little mini bowls and stuff like that that you kind of serve individual foods in um for an event that we're thinking about having i'll give you guys more details on the event later on um once we're sure that we're actually going to have it um but i want to go to dollar tree and see if they have what which type they have in stock i went ahead and screenshotted some on um their website so I know the ones that they carry but I want to know um you know if my local one has any in stock and um yeah so I'm gonna grab some of that and then um I'm gonna go back home and get some work done you guys that's what's been going on um yeah it's supposed to be 94 today um in the dmv it's already 84 and it's only 8 50 in the morning so yeah we were thinking about taking ray to my parents house to get in the pool this afternoon picking her up a little early from school but i got a signing at 7 30 so uh, that's not gonna work out um they're probably gonna go with me to my signing so yeah anyway i'll talk to you guys later um i'll show you guys the um, mini containers or bowls that I was talking about um, if I find any in Dollar Tree. Um, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Happy hump day. We're halfway through the week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay y'all so I just got back from Dollar Tree. I got about three ba bags full of stuff and I wanted to show you the things that I was talking about. So they have these look little, little mini wavy plates. I'm not sure if we're going to put regular food in this or maybe I'll have um, a dessert made for these but it's 12 in a pack so I think I got eight packs of these just to start out with because that's all they had I got the um like mini uh cordial glasses these are like for dessert shooters and also these make good for like the veggie um little things where you can put like the ranch dressing at the bottom and then some um some of these are broken um like some celery sticks and carrots and you know little broccolis and stuff like that can go in these so i think i got um eight or nine of those and then they did have the mini bowls but we opted to get the tumblers instead because they were a little bit deeper so it looks like we can fit a little bit more in here so there's 10 in the pack i got 10 packs of these so that's 100 of these and then we also decided to get just a few packs i think i only got three or four packs of the wine the plastic wine glasses because maybe we can put some salads or something like that in there or um i could have a dessert made for in these so um and then lastly i got six packs of these little clear appetizer plates just to have on hand i don't know if we're going to use them or not but i grabbed these as well um and that's it pretty much i got two of these ice cream um shaped napkins because i thought these were really cute so i got the purple ones and the pink ones only because i got the ice cream cups and i have tons of stuff to do like an ice cream party already in my party room so i just add little things when i see it to that collection and then when i'm ready to throw an event with that stuff i already have everything so these were really cute for 125 you got 16 napkins in each one um and these were the only two colors i saw left so i just got grab one of each of those but that's it you guys and so now i'm headed in to do some work and i will talk to you guys later if you are looking for any of these things i mean they're all over tiktok and instagram reels and stuff just doing like the events with the individual um plated um food Ch check your local dollar tree because again 12 of these for 125 is not bad six of um 
these for $125 is still not bad even on Amazon um, they tend to be a little more pricier than that they do have like the mini forks and the mini spoons at Dollar Tree as well my Dollar Tree didn't have any today but um, I am gonna look for those as well I'm not sure if we're gonna do gold or silver um, but yeah so I just wanted to grab some stuff um, so I'm not buying everything at the last minute so yeah I will talk to you guys a little later Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Toodles. So guys, Reagan got a new piece of mail um, yesterday and she got $3. I'm assuming because she's turning three soon from a subby, Miss Darlene Long. Thank you so much. And it says the letter G represents the state of Chicago and guard trail. So we're going to put this in her piggy bank like we always do. She actually sent her another $2 bill um, like a month or so ago. So we're collecting them, but she's going to put all her monies in her piggy bank. So thank you so much, Mr. Lane. We appreciate it. I don't know where you guys are getting these $2 bills from, but um, I never see them. I don't know if the banks give them out. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. Hey, y'all. Hey, happy Thursday. Today is, what's today? Is it the 16th? May 16th? I don't know. It's 1130. Ray and I went to Target, so I'm gonna do a quick Target haul. She's home today, okay? And already getting on my nerves. I should've took her to daycare, okay? Anyway, I ordered her some stuff from Amazon. I was influenced to buy this stuff, and I don't know. Um, somebody I follow said this grape cutter was good. So I had fed her some grapes the other day, and she handled them well, but some of the larger ones, I just felt like her mouth was too full. So I ordered her this grape cutter from the OXO Top brand, and their stuff is pretty good. You can use these for grape tomatoes and salads too. Basically, you just put the grape, the grape or the grape tomato in here, push down on the top, and it cuts it in four pieces. So I got this for like 10 bucks, and then baby girl is using utensils now when she eats. So um when we go out to restaurants which we tend to eat out quite a bit <laughs> um they don't have kid size utensils and so she opts to kind of eat with her fingers and i don't really like that so i ordered these from amazon it came two in a pack for ten dollars um not bad at all i'll link all this stuff in my amazon store um which i'll see if i can link it down below and also if you guys follow me on um, instagram then it's all my amazon store is always linked in my bio um in my link tree but these come with it now i didn't notice that the forks are kind of like sporks meaning they're kind of shaped like a spoon but they do have the two middle um things a little bit longer than the side so she should be able to still pick stuff up but um it came with a pink set and a white set so she has two and my plan is to just leave these in my glove box so that whenever we go out to eat she'll have them let me show you the one she eats with at home are you done eating baby are you all done? Yeah. Okay. Um, she eats with like the Minnie Mouse ones. I think I have some Disney Princess ones that I haven't opened. But there's a spoon and a fork that comes with it. But this is like a regular fork, you know. So the other one is kind of like rounded. But I feel like it's better than nothing. Um, they did have some other ones on Amazon. I know they had the OXO top brand as well. But that only came like one set for $10. And this was two sets for $10. So I went ahead and bought these, but this is what she uses at home and it kind of works out good. She's playing with the new ball that she got from the Target dollar spot, you guys. Okay, I also got this from Amazon, you guys. Um, this um, is called Bewitched and it's like, basically you can make it uncrustable at home. Um, you can do peanut butter and jelly, which I've heard she likes. I've never actually fed her that, but she's eating it before at daycare. But you can put lunch meat, make lunch meat sandwiches as well. And it's a cutter for anything you're gonna put in the sandwich. And then you cut down the bread and then you can seal it together and make like a little uncrustable. So I thought that was cute. I think I may have paid like $12 for this, but again, I'll link it down below. Also from Amazon, I bought a new cooler. This one is on wheels. It was on one of those lightning deals like a week and a half ago, and I didn't even think it was gonna come because those coolers are like 130 some dollars. Usually it was a 100 quart cooler, and I got it for 40 bucks, and it actually came. Actually, let me take you guys over and I'll show it to you. Y'all, I look a mess. I'm gonna um, get my hair done tomorrow. Anyway, Reagan, why are you in here? She, she got this new ball, you see that ball? Anyway. Here's the cooler right there. It's on wheels and it's the Coleman brand. So I didn't really think it was gonna come, you guys, because 
those coolers are like $130 for that size. It's the same size we have outside on the deck now, the large one, but that one doesn't have wheels. And that one we got from Costco and it was still a hundred bucks and that was a sale. So, you know. Anyway, on to Target. I got a couple of things. We are gonna have an event. I'll talk to you more about that later, but I picked up two more of these wooden easels just for like chalkboards and stuff. So I have a total of four now. But I may get some more. Hopefully, they'll go 50% off and not sell out. And then I can get some more because these are going to be good for um, paint and sips and stuff like that. They were $5 from the Target dollar spot. So I grabbed two more of those. Last week, Target had a 50% off a lot of their home decor or their entertaining stuff. So I grabbed this beverage bucket. I also dropped it. So hopefully, I didn't mess it up. I don't think I did. But I grabbed this beverage bucket that's already been sealed. Um, it's originally $30, but I got it for 50% off at ten dollars um not ten dollars fifteen dollars which i thought was a good price and it has really good reviews and everything i didn't know they put a label on it Let's see if i can get this label off hold on okay it came off anyway um so i thought this was really cute you can put ice in it and then just put like beer in one i should have got two because then i could have had beer and wine in one or like the kids capri suns could go in this for an event or something like that i may use it we're actually gonna have another event this weekend the other thing i also got was some of these drinks reagan come in here baby i got some simply um blueberry blueberry lemonade i got this tropicana one um pineapple mango it looked good and then i was influenced to buy this from i believe her name is janae on youtube jenny jacks I think it's her youtube channel i don't know but she always talks about these uh tazo or tazo teas so i got one from target i got the passion one we'll see if it's good it says a vibrant herbal infusion of hibiscus orange peel and cinnamon cinnamon and it's caffeine free this is like three dollars or four dollars or something so i grabbed that um and then you guys i had to grab some clothes because your girl is putting on some weight here okay let me show you what i had and then like you know how your basics just get dingy? Ugh. Anyway, hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. So your basics just get, like, really dingy and you need to replace them. So I got these tanks. Some of them were $8 and some were 5 This was $8. I got this in an extra large. So I got a, a black one. I got this, like, mauve color. This one was $8. And then I got it in white again. Extra large. And then I found some of these. This one was different, but these were only $5. So I grabbed this one in an extra large. This one is gray. Um, and then I also grabbed that in white. Because I just feel like I always need white tank tops, you know? So I grabbed that one. And then I got me some um, biker shorts in the leopard print. Now, I got these in a 2X only because I bought the same brand last year in extra large. And I feel like they shrunk really badly. And then I also got them in gray because I don't have any gray biker shorts. These were only $7 each. And then, y'all, my girl Tabitha Brown's collection. Now, if you live in an urban area, it ain't going to be nothing left. I didn't go out the day of. I thought I could order. And I didn't wake up at midnight to order. So by the time I tried to place my order online, everything in my size was sold out. But I have been going to the store every couple of days just for other stuff and then I'll check and I don't know if people are doing returns or whatever but I have been finding some stuff so I did get myself this two-piece bikini now I got the top in a 1x just because my girls are huge <coughs> so the top was $25 this print is so beautiful I wish I could find the matching pants but haven't been able to find them um, and then I got the bottoms in an extra large because this should be good and the bottoms were $20 so $25 for the top, $20 for the bottom. I just love the colors. Uh, Reagan, what are you doing? Come in here. And then today I found a few more pieces of her collection. I got this dress, you guys. Oh, so pretty. I may wear it this weekend. I got this in an extra large. This was $35, and it's kind of like flared at the bottom. So pretty. It ties here and has like a little peekaboo hole. So that'll be cute. And then today they also had... Uh-oh. It hit my light y'all they also had this pink one it's the same make but di different pattern it has the peekaboo hole and the tie here and then at the bottom this um flare is red so this one was 
35 as well. I got that in an extra large. So I'm happy to support my um, girl Tabitha. I also have her sunshine she seasoning, but I've never used it. I always forget I have it. Anyway, um, moving along, I forgot I got these. I also grabbed these from Target when I grabbed all the tank tops and stuff. This little dress was like $12. And tell me this isn't like an essential, you know? Just a little t-shirt, sleeveless dress, $12. I don't have any color like that in my closet. I grabbed that. And then I fell in love with these pants. I figured I could wear them with one of the tank tops and some sandals. They're like a linen pant. These were $25. I thought these were overpriced. But I went ahead and got them. I got them in an extra large and pinstripe. I don't have any um, linen pants that are pinstripe. So hopefully I can fit them. I didn't try them on because I had Ray with me that day. But that's my little Target haul, y'all. Um, I'll show you guys the other things. They're in here in the dining room. Let me show y'all. Reagan, huh? what, are you, what are you doing? Take your toys out of my dining room, please. So this is all the stuff that I we've been collecting um, for the events that we're going to be having soon. Um, you guys know these are in the Target dollar spot now, all of this stuff. So I've just been grabbing it. I got four of these. So cute. I got four of the oval ones. I got four of these. My friend Brittany got two or three of these as well. I showed you guys that I, I bought two more of these. So I have four of those. Um, I have two of the tiered trays. My friend Brittany has a couple too. I bought two of the round ones. She also has some of those. I brought four of the carafts uh, wrapped in the rattan stuff. I've been buying some of the greenery. These were ringing up 50% off for $150 and each one has three picks in it. And then from Dollar Tree, I've just been buying, I showed you guys this in a previous clip, but I've just been collecting all of the this type of stuff too. So there'll be more to come on that event soon. Get out of here, come on. Let's go, get down off this here. Come on, get your ball. Um, so that's all that's going on right now, you guys. I gotta uh, do a little bit of work. So I'm gonna put this stuff away and then um, I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later. I gotta pull all these clothes away from Ronnie's hand. But I've been telling him I need some more clothes anyway. And my clothes don't cost nearly as much as his um, at all. Like men's clothes are so expensive. The other thing is, um, we had to go to Home Depot, y'all, and get some ant stuff because I don't know what's going on this year, but I have never seen ants like this before in my life. Like, the ants is attacking our home, um, the main level of our home, and I don't understand what's going on. So, I bought some ant. Reagan, come here. Oh, that's the, that's the um, vacuum. I'm about to say, what did she turn on? Anyway, I bought some ant bait traps and put those around last night. And then we bought some stuff to spray the perimeter outside of the house. And then we bought another can of this because, honey, y'all comment below and let me know if ants is trying to take over y'all life. Because, baby, I ain't got, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I ain't got no, um, pay, no more patience for these ants. They are not about to take over my house because they not paying no mortgage around here. So... You know, it is what it is. Anyway, let me put this stuff upstairs in my closet like I always had it. I did buy two um, swimsuits from Walmart a few weeks ago too. I'll show y'all those in another clip if I remember because those are already upstairs in the closet. But let me take this stuff upstairs, put it in my closet like I already, always had it. So, um, you know, who won't be all up in my business. Um, and then I'm going to pour me some juice and get back to work. Hopefully, I can get some stuff done with your girl here today because um, she already getting on my nerves, honey. Anyway, break a baby. Huh? Break a baby. I'm going to need to put this stuff away. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. Hey. Long time no Mama, vlog. Look who's home today. Mama does These are mommy's glasses. Mama does Where's your glasses? Huh. Huh. <laughs> anyway, she's home today because homegirl has an infection in her eye and an ear infection. So she can't go back to school until tomorrow when she's been on her medication for 24 hours. Huh? You want your glasses? You want your glasses? Okay, come on. I think your glasses are upstairs. So I straightened my hair today. I washed it on over the weekend. 
by now you guys know our news so don't mind the balloons and everything from the gender reveal what's wrong y'all she is on my last nerve and i have a meeting for work today and she's acting crazy but anyway i straightened my hair today and my hair is growing so fast no we're not going downstairs there's nobody down there let me see your nose we're going upstairs you want to go upstairs all right let's go upstairs come on so I straightened my hair. As you guys can see, it is growing so fast. Last time I cut it, it was like not touching the shoulders. Huh? You want to go for a walk? Okay, let's go for a walk. Go get your shoes. Upstairs. Girl, got snot everywhere. Anyway, go get your shoes. Go upstairs and get, go, go get your sandals. Go upstairs and get your shoes. Anyway, like I was saying, my hair is growing super fast. Um, we had the gender reveal. By now, you've seen that footage and everything. So, you know, guys know about baby boy. Huh, now y'all know why I'm so tired, why I haven't been posting. We found out. Well, you already know all that. But, yeah, we found out. Um, I think we found out at the end of March. Maybe it was April. I don't know. But I just wanted to wait until I could reveal the pregnancy and the gender to you guys at once. And because I'm considered high risk, because I'm 35, I knew I could take that special test really, really early and find out the gender. So that's what we did. It's not like we had to wait until 20 weeks or anything like normally. But anyway, that's why I've been so tired. That's why I've been so out of breath. A lot of you guys picked up on the fact that there was an ultrasound on my refrigerator a few videos back when I um, was um, vlogging some sponsored content um that was actually Ray's ultrasound pictures that I found in a purse and I put it up on the refrigerator but we have since added baby boys there as well so yeah there's that what else did I want to show you guys I still need to I've been drinking this juice out of these containers because I don't want to throw it in the trash did you find your shoes let me see that's the wrong foot mama or is that the right foot oh good job that's right. She is so whiny. Put this on. You want to go outside? Put it on. Okay, get the other one too. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do it. Hold on, y'all. She is like, oh my gosh, she's so whiny right now. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with two. Lord. Okay, let's put the other one on. Come on. Uh-oh. Hold on, y'all. Put this on. Come on. Put your feet in. Instead of asking for help, she just is in this phase where she's, like, whining. And it drives me bonkers, okay? Okay. Come on. Let's go wipe your face first. So, let me show you guys what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I packed up all of these baby clothes for my sister. I still need another bin for these four piles here. But this whole bed was full. This whole dresser was full. This was a muslin blanket. So I figured I could keep this for baby boy. We are in what is going to be baby boy's nursery. This is the guest room. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. So I'm probably going to sell this furniture. This is my furniture from college. I'm probably going to sell that on Marketplace for little to nothing. And then we can start on his nursery. <laughs> Another reason why I haven't started on the guest room which I shared that design a while back. I hadn't started on it because then I found out I was trying to finish the theater room, which we're almost done. We're in the home stretch of that. And then I found out I was pregnant and I thought Ronnie was going to want to move baby girl's room down here so that the two kids can share the Jack and Jill bath. But he doesn't want to move, take down that house bed and paint another room and have to do all that because we are tired. So we decided we're going to leave Ray where she is. Technically, I think that is supposed to be her room is supposed to be the guest room because it has its own bathroom in it. But it's OK. We use this bathroom for her anyway, because it has a, a bathtub in it. The bathroom in her room only has a shower, so she's not old enough to take a shower by herself. But anyway, I came in here. I packed up all three bins of clothes. This is all 12 to 18 month size. And then there's, so this is the closet in his room that has all of our baby gear, including this. This usually goes in the closet, but when my nieces come over, I let them lay and sleep and stuff in here um, in this pack and play. So that's why it's out. But anyway, 
this is the baby closet that has all the baby stuff in it so i'm going to be getting rid of a lot of the stuff that i don't need anymore like her bedding and this pink um diaper genie and stuff like that we do have a gray one downstairs but a lot of the stuff we can still use um and then this is a bin of 12 months clothes and my sister still has to come get because there's no need for me to have any girl clothes saved here at all these were always going to her she just isn't her daughter isn't in that size yet but now she can get 12 months she can get 18 months she can get 24 months and get it out of here and i think this weekend we are going to go to target or somewhere and start um picking out just a few things for baby boy just because we're you know excited that it's a boy and overwhelmed at the same time so we'll probably pick out like just a few sleepers or something like that for him i talked to ronnie about that so he said okay to that i've been looking at nursery designs and stuff but you guys honestly i'm overwhelmed right now because we have so much going on come on Pooh. so i did that yesterday i still need to go through and fold up baby girls laundry and i wanted to show you guys that i ordered me a anklet from valerie's company i don't know if you guys follow um valerie but she owns the company vosh official so if you have never heard of it look it up on instagram she also has a youtube channel as well i think it's called valerie crad it used to be called crad crew but i think she changed it to valerie crad but anyway she owns vosh official and all of her jewelry is um like waterproof or water resistant and everything so i got an anklet because i'm really into anklets now i think they're so feminine and pretty i don't remember the name of the one i got but i got it when she had her anniversary sale so i think it was like half off or something i think i paid like 20 bucks for it or something but it's really pretty and i like the fact that i can get into the pool with it and it not tarnish you know because the ones that i order from like forever 21 or Shein and stuff those don't stand a chance in the water so this just came um yesterday so i haven't worn it yet but check out Vosh official if you haven't if you don't know about it Riley's pretty great she's a boss babe um what else did i do yesterday for ronnie's um father's day gifts i don't think i showed you guys because y'all i have not been in the mood to vlog like i've been so tired so i got him Two pair of Pumas, he actually picked those out when we went to the outlets the other day. So this is one pair here. And then his other pair are these, which he's already worn. So those were 50 each, so which was great for his size. And then I got him two shirts. Hold on, Reagan. Um, he loves polo. So I ordered him actually three shirts, but they canceled one because they didn't have his size. So I ordered them from Macy's. I got him see if i can show you this royal blue one and it has the polo bear he doesn't have any with the bear on it so i thought this was really cute so i got that he wears a 2x reagan what's wrong let me help you okay calm down here and then i got him this one this white he doesn't have any with the triple pony and then there was one other one that i ordered him but they canceled it um, well, Macy's didn't have his size, but then I ordered my dad some shirts because I like to get my dad polo as well. But I ordered his from the actual Ralph Lauren website. And they had the third shirt that I wanted to get Ronnie in his size. So I ordered that as well. Um, and polo canceled it. That's daddy's. You want glasses? Let's go get yours. So I got him those two shirts, those two shoes and then um i reimbursed him for a large purchase that he made for himself as well um and then we went to top golf for father's day and i treated his whole family his immediate family like his sister her kid um and then his mom and dad and yeah to top golf look at this girl say glasses anyway um so that's what was what we did for father's day and then i went to my father's house after that and gave him his gifts which were his two polos he got the same two shirts but his were different colors i think i got my dad gray and white i'm not no gray and like yeah i don't know gray white or gray and blue something like that but anyway 
Then we went over there for dinner because my mom got my dad like this flat top hibachi style grill for outside and he wanted to test it out. Hey, those are daddy's glasses. No, no. You use yours. Yeah, put your glasses on. Put your glasses on. Here. Put your glasses on. So, all right, y'all. I'm about to take her for a walk. She is giving me a run for my money today, y'all. What I'm going to do with two. What's wrong, Reagan? Okay, hold on. I can't wait for Ronnie to get home from work today. Oh, my God. Y'all are getting the behind the scenes when she's already not feeling 100% and she's whining. You want to go outside? Okay, come on. Let's stop whining, please. So, anyway, I'm going to take her for a walk around the block. And that's what we're going to do. So, that's what I did yesterday. And we had to take Ray to the doctors, obviously, um, to get her antibiotics and stuff. But that's the progress we've made. Come on. Are we going outside? Come on. Calm down, Reagan. Put your glasses on and come on. So, yeah, this little thing. Y'all, get your girl. Get your girl. Come on. Let me pick you up because you, you be in the brat. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's what's been going on, you guys. Um, I do have some sponsored content to shoot. I may shoot that a little later. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to just go ahead and take her. We're we going outside. Come on. We're going outside. I'm sorry for this clip, you guys. I did not know she was going to be this whiny. She's doing the most. Hello, guys. It is still Tuesday. Um, June 21st. Today is actually my parents' 36th wedding anniversary. They're getting couples' petties right now at the nail salon. My mom sent a picture of them. Anywho, I'm headed to the investment property with baby girl in the back. Hopefully, she'll be sleeping like five minutes because she's like, you guys, I had my quarterly review on camera for work today with her home and she was all over the place okay it was just quite the sight to see anyway um i'm headed to the investment property because the contractors are reframing the basement um you guys we have run into just wait until i do this episode i'm thinking i'm going to do this whole episode in like two videos well not the whole episode but the whole process of renovating this house um and staging it in like two videos because I don't want to bring like a, just a ton of videos to you guys on the same project, you know? Kind of like how the theater room has turned out. But that one, I had to do that because we're doing it ourselves along the way. And I wanted to show you guys like all the process, the, the step of every step of the way because we're doing it. But of course, with this project, we hired professional contractors. So we're only going there a couple times a day. And so I'm not able to get the footage of the entire step-by-step -step process. And they're doing the entire house. So that's that's a lot anyway i'm thinking about just doing the whole start to finish renovation and staging in two videos or two episodes anyway it is just so much so we had we got the new roof put on they've drywalled the whole first floor so that's good the second floor we were able to keep the drywall um they uh gutted most of the bathroom up there they're going to reglaze the tub and the shower tile but because the shower because the shower tile went all the way around the bathroom you know how they used to do it like back in the day like it went all the way around like half of the wall around the bathroom they had to cut out that drywall to get rid of those tiles because i didn't want that look and now they have to re-drywall that portion of um the bottom of the walls in that bathroom upstairs um, they have removed all the tiles that were in on the walls in the powder room and skim coated those walls um, and then they are reframing the basement you guys know we had the basement completely um, ripped out and they are reframing and drywalling all of that we had the new roof put on we had um, new HVAC done so we had to we took down a wall in the kitchen to make it more open, but of course there was ductwork in that wall. So we had to pay an HVAC company to come and relocate the ductwork um, in the kitchen in two areas. And then we also paid that HVAC company to replace the furnace and the AC unit. Um, 
the electrician will be there tomorrow to basically do a heavy up on the whole property and to run all of new electricity in the basement um, we are adding a bathroom in the basement as well so um, there's a lot um, that is you know being done with that and that's why I'm headed there now because they're trying to finish the framing and they know they need to know where to put up the wall um, for the bathroom in the basement so I'm gonna go over there and show them where I want the wall um, and then what else did we have done we had some a brick masonry company come in and do some repairs for us so that was good that's already been done um, we had to have an asbestos abatement company come in and remove the floor tiles out of the entire basement. That was a two-day process and two thousand um, dollars that we did not know we were going to have to pay. Um, but if you don't know, asbestos is very um, dangerous, and you can cover it and it'll be fine usually. But because they had, to, they're going to have to dig a trench for the plumbing in the bathroom that they're adding down there, it would have disrupted the flooring and. You know those particles get in the air and it's problematic so we had to have an asbestos abatement company come in last week um, and clear all that out they did that today they started the framing of the basement and found out that there was termites that were coming through the um, concrete cinder block walls <laughs> so I had to get on the phone this morning and call an extermination company get them out to give us an estimate they're gonna come come back out and do all of their treatments tomorrow um, and also treat the new wood that the um, contractors are putting in for the framing. They're going to treat that as well. They're going to treat the outside of the house and all of that stuff. So luckily that was like $600 or so. Um, so it wasn't a huge hit. But the disparity in different quotes from different companies is crazy. Because we got one quote for like $1,900. We got another one for like six or seven. So yeah, it's just one thing after the other, you guys. But you just gotta know that that's the name of the game once you open up a wall you never know and especially a home this age you know you never know but basically whoever buys this house is getting a brand new house from top to bottom i called an attic insulation company and they gave me a quote to um, blow in some insulation up in the attic because right now there is none and that's very important as well um so that'll be one of the last things that we get done um we paid for the deposit for the windows that we're going to be replacing windows are not cheap you guys by any means if you've ever had to replace windows and multiple windows at one time y'all know windows are very expensive because you don't replace them that often so we're replacing about four to five windows so you know that is a few grand as well um and then i have to call lowe's because they're playing games with my appliance delivery. I ordered my appliances on June 1st and they said they would be there. They could be there the next week, but I chose two weeks out because we didn't need them, you know, that soon. And um, two weeks came and then they sent me an email with an estimated delivery date of a week after that. So I was like, okay, we're still not in a rush, that's fine. So that would have been last Friday. So on Thursday, they sent me an email saying, oh, they're gonna come monday instead so monday comes and they send me another email saying this coming friday but when you track the the items they haven't even shipped yet so i called lowe's like okay what's going on with my appliance delivery like are these order are these items back ordered because you didn't indicate that when i purchased them on your website what's going on this is like the fourth delivery date and they haven't even shipped yet so which happening is it's coming to the delivery the delivery day comes and then you just send out this automated email with another delivery date a week out but the the items haven't shipped so they're not going to be here in a week like where are they at so they gave me the number to the vendor because they kept saying oh they're coming from the vendor like we don't have them in stock with us like you have to wait till they ship from the vendor and those are just estimated delivery dates i'm like yeah but we're now we're going on over a month i just need to know when are they coming and if they are coming so they gave me the number to the vendor i didn't call yesterday because it was considered a national holiday for juneteenth so i'm gonna call this afternoon and see what they say um i ordered all frigidaire um appliances and i have frigidaire gallery in my house which is their top of the line um line of frigidaire uh, appliances i love them 
so this one I just bought regular Frigidaire appliances but I did buy a slide in range so it doesn't have that back panel and it won't interrupt the view of the backsplash so it'll look really modern the only appliance I haven't purchased yet is the refrigerator because I need to be able to set the cabinets in place and measure to see how much width we have for the refrigerator because we did have some duct work moved and all that stuff so if you're not interested in the investment property I'm sorry you can skip past this part but I was just speaking out loud and giving you guys kind of like an update because those videos won't be coming until we're actually done with the renovations and the staging and it's already on the market and then you know I'll be able to just put those two videos together because I don't want it to be a lot of videos but I was just telling you guys <laughs> um, an update so far on the investment property it's very expensive to do this it's kind of crazy it's a lot at stake but it's also really exciting um, to see the transformation because this house already looks on the inside totally different just with the drywall up they haven't painted anything they haven't put the new flooring down or anything and all the materials are shipped to our personal home and stored in our garage and then we bring them to the contractors as they need them so um the other things that i have to shop for is a mirror yes baby girl went to sleep she has been trolling me you guys since she woke up at nine o'clock this morning oh my goodness anyway um i have to shop for a smaller black mirror for the powder room i finally found um an 18 inch vanity for that powder room bathroom but it is one that attaches to the wall but i think i'm okay with that i got the black faucets off of amazon and the hardware bathroom hardware kits from amazon we're going to get the dual flush toilets with the two buttons on the top we're going to get those from home depot for all three bathrooms um i pretty much have everything else that i need i'm gonna have to get a shower kit and a tub kit um the matte black ones for the bathroom upstairs and the bathroom in the basement that we're adding um all of the light fixtures have been purchased the recess lighting has been purchased recess lights went in also last week on the main level of the house in the living room they still need to add we decided on six recess lights in there and then we're going to put two in the kitchen i believe and then probably six in the living room in the basement as well but anyway um so all that stuff went in last week um the other things that i have to purchase are the cabinets i'm going to do white um um already assembled cabinets from the big box stores i just need to wait till my appliances get in so i can measure and see which cabinets will fit that's the problem <laughs> um so that's why i wanted the range and at least the dishwasher so that i can sit those things in place and then i could you know get the sink cabinet we already got the sink as well so yeah there's a lot um that goes into this and it's a little overwhelming but you know it's coming together slowly but surely we have about three more weeks before we actually want to list the house on the market that was our deadline so hopefully we can meet that so you guys pray for us because this is our first big project that we just jumped out there and did and we're hoping that everything works out for the best um but like i said it is very rewarding it's scary but it's very rewarding at the same time and it's um really fun to see the transformation happen before your eyes because like i said we go there probably about twice a day i don't go every day sometimes ronnie goes sometimes i go and most of the time we go together but just to see the transformation happen in front of your eyes has been an amazing journey because when we first walked in this house um to tour it you know when we were deciding on whether to put an offer in this house looked totally different like it was <laughs> it was so different and now just to see the new drywall up and some of the walls that we got taken out and the open floor plan that we're creating and just the finishes of the materials that we purchased i know it's going to be an amazing transformation um so uh stay tuned for those videos they'll be coming but i'm headed there now um to let the contractors know where i want the wall um for the bathroom in the basement um and then what am i doing after that i'm gonna probably drive around for a minute and get myself something to drink um because it's a little hot out here it's 86 degrees but baby girl has been fighting her sleep and she finally went to sleep so i'm going to probably be um what is going on um probably be a minute just to let her sleep a little bit um i don't know if ronnie's doing a full day at work or what but hopefully he'll be home soon it's 2 41 but y'all that is what is going on so yeah 
Um, I was hoping to film some sponsored content today, but I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it with her home. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's it. I've been talking for 13 minutes, so. Um, and I'll probably get some footage of the house when I go in here. I don't record every single time because sometimes it's not that much of a noticeable difference between like in the morning and the afternoon when I come or yesterday versus like today. Um, but I am going to get some footage um, today because they moved, like I said, they relocated a lot of the um, duct work for the HVAC so that the wall um, could be removed. The wall is now removed. Um, so I want to show you guys that and then... Um, I want to show you guys or get some footage of the bathroom that they kind of demoed upstairs um, and the progress on that and then hopefully in the basement as well because the new framing is going in so yeah those videos will be exciting and I feel like they'll do better with you guys because you'll get to see more in one video as opposed to like little bits of progress throughout a ton of different episodes so I'll talk to you guys later gotta go bye